Oh no, look at his face. <gasps> <laughs> I told you he was not gonna like it. Believe it or not, today is actually a pretty exciting day for our Nightmare Legacy Challenge. It's episode 50, we've got a new house, and we are starting the fifth generation. So I guess I have a few things to show you. The new house is very different from things that we've had before, but I figured it was appropriate for Terry. It kind of feels like it matches her style. And if she's gonna take over, well, she deserves something nice. It's also a little bit smaller than our most recent house. I don't really know how that happens. Um, it costs more money, but somehow less space. Okay, this is what we're working with. Again, I realize it's a little bit weird. That's kind of what I was going for. A few notable things, uh, the Piranha Pond is still here. No, this is not a functional car. Um, it's fake, it's from Debug. You can't even click on it. I use these weird trees with the balls on them, cause like, why not? <laughs> we don't have that much money left over, so I can't really do much else, but we'll slowly add to it. I wanna get some stuff on the porch, cause right now we don't have anything. But we do have a driveway. I'm pretending this is like a fake converted garage. I'll show you the inside in a minute. In the side yard, we're gonna eventually probably have some more stuff for the kids, but we don't have any kids yet, so, you know, room to grow. I am obsessed with the backyard though. We have this like little terraced space with a fire pit. We have our dead cow plant, camera, lounge chairs, pool, cactus, table. No grill though, because I'm sick of my Sims autonomously grilling. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you come inside the house, here's where it gets a little bit weird because I built this on my Twitch channel. I also made a speed build, so I'll link it down below if you want to watch me like build it and talk more about specifics. But my chat was like, use an orange rug. And then I was like, oh, our color scheme can be orange. And I sort of just, I hate to say it, but I picked an ugly rug on purpose. Like look at the color of this one. Isn't that just horrendous? And I, I did that on purpose. Also these photos, I probably want to swap out. <laughs> I just wanted to hang up some pictures. I'm not sure about them though, but they're there for now. Above our little formal living room fireplace space, this is where the front door and the staircase is. We've got a nice big kitchen. Don't worry, we still have dog food and a money trash can. We have a little dining table space. Over here is the TV room. It's like smaller and sort of further back. We have some more photos hanging up in some places. I've still got a bunch of pet photos, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> There's one bathroom downstairs. This is gonna be Cam's room. I figured him moving downstairs is probably for the best. The man's getting a little bit old. I mean, he's on his way out. <laughs> so I also put a gym inside. I figured that since Terry is gonna be in the criminal career, she's gonna need the fitness skill eventually. So we, we gave her the opportunity to build it. Oh my God. And these photos keep glitching. Ah, oh, the colors of the frames keeps glitching. I have changed this about four times. I am gonna lose it. <laughs> but I put some photos in here. Deep breath. Deep breath. Okay, and then upstairs, we've got a little hallway. It also has some photos. I wanted to get a photo of like each couple from all the generations. <laughs> this is gonna be Terry's bedroom. Um, Again, with the awful rugs, I don't feel bad, but she has like a little desk space. I tried to use a lot of the industrial loft kit in here because I felt like that was kind of the vibe I was going for with the whole house. She also has an ensuite bathroom, which is cool. And then her two younger sisters have bedrooms here. Believe it or not, this one is for the youngest. <laughs> this one's gonna be Tabitha's room. And then this is gonna be Tia's room. Definitely a downgrade for these two, um, but that's okay because they're gonna move out soon, so <laughs> it's fine, right? And then another bathroom upstairs, so it's a four bedroom, three bathroom house. I figured that's plenty of space for the future kids we might have. And like I said, I'll link that speed build down below if you wanna watch it. But today, first and foremost, I'm missing a grave. <laughs> I need to bring Bubblegum's grave to the graveyard. There we go. I want to make sure Bubblegum gets the final resting place that she deserves. So I'm going to bring her to the graveyard first before I forget. You know, I hate to say it. We're getting a lot of pet graves over here. <laughs> it's starting to get a little sad. Oh, I think I forgot to bring a photo of Bubblegum. Oh man. Should I give her this? Totally unrelated, but maybe you can have it. So far, only Megan has something <laughs> to. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, well, <sighs> that's six pet graves. It was good to see you all. Bye. I want to go away. <laughs> this place gives me bad vibes. I don't I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to stay there. Okay, the other thing. I've been thinking more about this like Fabian business, right? And I really am not sure that Terry and him are a good match long term. However, I want to keep dating him, which is probably a mistake. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm I'm aware of that. <laughs> I'm just thinking that it might be for the best if we make some relationship mistakes, you know? I'm gonna sell these things while I'm here, actually. <laughs> we could use the, the couple extra simoleons. Oh, by the way, this is the fire toilet. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> in case of emergency, remember this is the one you need to work about. You 
Lizzie, did you see it smoking just then? Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm kind of thinking that for now, we could go hang out with him, pop to the solar flare, bring Fabian, maybe beat somebody up. I don't know. She wants to have enemies for her aspiration, and I'm not gonna deny her that. It's episode 50, we gotta do something to celebrate. Like, punch somebody, you know? What, are you angry? Tense. Okay, why? What is wrong with you? Smile! You're on camera! So grumpy looking, and for what? I'm telling you, I don't think they're gonna be a good match long term. Terry might be a criminal who steals things and is messy, but she's a nice girl deep down at heart. She's very nice, and I don't think that he is. You okay, bestie? She almost fell over. I might be rude to her. I don't want to, but I do, I do wanna- be Oh, calm down! Anyway, she does wanna be disliked by two simps. Maybe now is a good time to try. I always forget that the last Lounge is always full of old people. Let only elders come to the lounge in The Sims. Do you see that? She almost dropped all the drinks. Okay, I'm gonna, um, wait, do you hear that? I was gonna say, whoever's playing the violin sucks. Of course it's him. You are really, really bad at that. Doesn't he like the violin? Isn't that like his thing? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you could stop doing that if you want. I wouldn't mind if, if you were um, playing less. Work for Terry starts in about an hour. Oh, I came here specifically because I wanted to hang out with my boyfriend. I forgot that I have work tonight. Okay, well, she dislikes me. Anything else I need to do? I mean, it probably wouldn't hurt if I hung out with him a little bit. Don't tip him. Oh, Cam's back. Made 520 smolians. That's not half bad. Okay, well, we're off to work. <laughs> <laughs> to make nine simoleons an hour. Go! What's wrong with you? Unfinished business. Oh, because you were in a fight with somebody? Oh my god. No, don't yell at co-workers! Oh god, I was gonna have her work hard. <laughs> I want her to get promoted. I do not want her to yell at her co-workers. Jeez. You know, I keep trying to say she's a very nice girl, but I'm starting to not believe that. I hate to say it, but <laughs> she's not really giving me much of a reason to, to believe that. Okay, I'm gonna take a shower and have him get rid of the leftovers. You, my friend, do you know anyone? Anyone at all? Teens. Granted, she's gonna be a young adult in about a day. <laughs> <laughs> but if we could get her and her sister introduced to like some of the other teens in the town. Emma, Myra, Kent, Sonia maybe, and we're full. Okay, well let's just, let's just meet these people. Cause at the very least, if they knew somebody, <laughs> that would be nice. <gasps> look, the puppy's in the bed! Oh, Frog, you look so cute! I love the, the new sectionals. It's so cute how they lay down to watch TV. Okay, I might see if Tabitha wants to meet up with any of these people. Perhaps I'll let them all come over. They might all need some makeovers. I hate to say it, but it's true. We could probably all use a little refresh. Wait. Oh no, she's so cute. All right, maybe it was just her scout's uniform. Performance loss small. Oh man, I should have read that. Okay, I'm not sure about your, your look there, bestie. I don't know about this outfit combo. I wonder what their traits are all like too. That's a whole other problem. Oh, I don't know about that dress and those boots either. Oh no. <laughs> now hang on. If we're we're gonna date any of these people. They're gonna need some work. Okay, Sonia has a mom and uncle and a little brother all in this world. Adventurous and loves dogs. Party animal. Okay. You know, maybe not the best fashion sense. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know. This, what is with the Sims and accessories? She's wearing every possible accessory. We got the bracelet, the rings, the necklace, the earrings, the nose ring. She's literally got it all. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh dear. See, just a little, little makeover. So her everyday outfit looks a little bit better. No more weird boots, nice nail polish, you know? Oh my God, speaking of which, we should give nail polish to our household. Well, while we're here, kind of want to go pop into this Sims household. I'm sorry, I just want to find out what our situation's like. These are Sims that one of you guys made. Oh, she wants to be an academic. She's good and a geek. Well, she's just a really nice girl, isn't she? <laughs> oh, she seems really sweet and she's got cute outfits? Oh, well, maybe Tabby and her could see if they hit it off. He's about bravery. I don't know. Just, <laughs> just talk to her, see what happens. Why is she feeling dazed? What, did you get struck by lightning? I wouldn't be surprised if she did. Tia, do you want to come talk to Sonia, please? Why are you feeling dazed too? Why is everybody dazed? What happened? Well, now I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, they're joking around. This might go well for us. I don't know. Maybe they, maybe we found two people to date in one day. <laughs> this could go.
go well. We may have just found our future spouses. How? Oh no. Terry has a major deadline approaching and needs to find a way to knock it out. What should she do? Hide in a closet or ask for help? Ask for help. Don't hide in the closet. Performance gain small. Oh, okay. Oh, there she is. Why are you in my bedroom? The way that Sims do this, they just like walk into your room and start using your computer. Like, hello. Oh, I guess this is her sister's bedroom, isn't it? Even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you just invite yourself in here? And then of course her dad comes in. Cam knows they're flirting. He's come to supervise. He's like, you can't have girls over in your bedroom with the door closed. <laughs> I'm not sure if Terry's gonna get promoted today. She might. She has like two hours left. Okay, I probably should be sending everybody home now that I think about it. Uh, my Sims do have school tomorrow, so. Oh, she's doing push-ups. Okay. <laughs> and she's active. The whole package. I meant to have Cam cook dinner and I kind of forgot about it. Do you want to clean out the spoiled food, please? Thank you. Much appreciated. Oh, why is the puppy crying? Are you okay? Talk to. Oh, ask to go potty. Can it get out to potty? Should be fine. Oh yeah, we're fine. Oh, she did get promoted and she swiped an object at work. Right, <laughs> perfect. Okay, I'm gonna sell some of these things that we got in the mail. Okay, she now works from 8 p.m. to 3 a.m. Oh God. Okay, maybe I should have her stay up a little bit later <laughs> to try and get on that schedule. And we only have one day off. Oh my. Okay, do you wanna go work out then this morning? Cam's going to bed, you can go to bed. Everyone just, well, except for Terry. <laughs> Everyone except for Terry can go to bed. I think she needs to stay up until at least like two. We need to try and like shift that schedule a little bit better. I hate when my Sims have to work the night shift like this. Okay, well, I guess maybe tomorrow morning we can go on a date. Why did you wake up? Cause you wanna cry? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel so bad for Cam, I really do. Why did I have to kill his husband? Not my finest moment, not gonna lie, uh, but it, it happened. By the way, I do still have my fire ants, just in case you were worried. <laughs> I did keep those. Oh, I took my CC out. She does not have a shirt on anymore. Oops, <laughs> that is my bad. I really want Cam to finish his aspiration. He's got work today. This might be our last shot at it though. You wanna make me some French toast or something, Bestie? But he's gonna be off for two days starting tomorrow and he's not gonna live much longer. So I kind of want this man to have a chance to retire. So I feel like if we don't get the promotion today, then all bets are off. <laughs> okay, I need to take care of this pet. Do you wanna ask it to go potty again? Go. Oh, you did a good job. Praise. Simstagram pet? I don't know. Why are you so small? And why do you look so sad? Maybe I'll get the cow plant in the photo. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty good. All right. You need to wake up now. <laughs> it's 11 a.m. It's time to get a move on. Oh, no. That is exactly what I was afraid of. <laughs> We have bills and they're more money than we can afford. 3,962. Shoot. Okay. All right. Well, Cam, you better work hard today. <laughs> I'm taking care of these plants. Performance loss small? Oh, I should have read it. An acquaintance was telling me how much they dislike you. Try being a little nicer. Becoming disliked is a slippery slope. Do you know what, Fabian? I, I don't have the patience for you to act like this to me this morning. Being disliked is a slippery slope. <sighs> Deep breath, deep breath, it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm just gonna sell my frogs. And I think I can afford my bills now. <gasps> Did the puppy just age up? Oh my God, look at how frog looks right now in the background. <laughs> You're so big. You look just like Turtle. Oh no, I miss Turtle. Yes, Tabitha should invite over classmate Emma. Thank you very much. Oh well. Oh, I can sell that Excellence Bunny Award. It's only 55 simoleons, but you know what? Every little bit counts when you only have 126 simoleons. <laughs> okay, well, I kind of want to see about having Fabian come over for a date. I don't know. But while we're here, I might give my Sim some nail polish. I like those. I think those look really good on her. But look at how pretty Terry is. Oh, I'm so excited. I forgot about the eyeball ring. <laughs> okay, we did it on purpose. I might give Frog here a little collar too. She's so cute. I'm so excited. I just sent a picture of what Frog looked like when she aged up to Dan. And he said, is that a cow? Is that a cow? It's my dog. Thank you very much. Okay, let's invite over Fabian, please. They're still not officially dating. We've kind of just had this like thing going on for a while and I, I think that's probably okay at least for now Why is he dazed too? I know what it is. It's the juice community neighborhood action plan That's why everyone is dazed. I'm gonna remove that see it, instantly. He's not dazed anymore I <laughs> I can't get behind that. Let me look at something. Let's see pregnancy. Woohoo pregnancy risky woohoo percent Okay, we have risky woohoo at 1% 
chance of getting a sim pregnant. I might put it up to 10. Do you want to woohoo just to see what happens? I'm gonna do it. No, Cam didn't get promoted. Oh god, they're woohooing. Why can I still see her face? <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't get promoted, Cam. I feel like you're never gonna achieve your lifelong goals now, and I feel a bit like that's my fault. Yeah, it's still going. Oh, never mind, it's done. <laughs> okay, she does have work at 8. I might ask him to be my boyfriend. I might make it official. They've been dating for a while, you know? Oh, he said yes. Okay, see, I was worried he'd say no, but he's not non-committal, is he? Oh, she completed her resolution. She got a boyfriend. Now, there you go. Power conservation received the most votes. Uh, no. No. What are you doing? Oh, God. Stop. 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 Skull for playing in the trash. Who knocked the trash can over? Was it Fabian? You want me to join the tech guru career as an esports gamer? I have absolutely no experience in that field. <laughs> I don't think that I should do that. I'm a chef, and I've been a chef for, like, 30 years. What are you doing? Oh, good God. Why, I'm like, why was she standing so close? Do you want to just jump in and see if she dies? Oh. <laughs> it's like a fun game. Imagine, imagine if she dies. That's not funny, Terry. Oh God. <laughs> you know what? You stay away from there, okay? <laughs> you need to. You need to get far, far away from there. Okay. Work for Terry starts in about an hour. Oh, he's tense because he needs a day off. Should I just bail on his aspiration and let him retire? But his last goal in life is to reach level eight of the culinary career. He literally has nothing else going for him. He has no other hobbies. Nothing. <laughs> I feel like I can't just make him stop. Oh my god, you know what I forgot? I just realized is a thermostat. Oh, perfect. I can sell these plates. That will pay for my thermostat. Thank you. You know what? Her almost girlfriend is still here. <laughs> I never- oh, she just left. There we go. I never even interacted with her. No wonder she stomped away all aggressively. Okay, I might have Terry work hard. Okay, good. She still is. I would really like it if she got promoted again. <laughs> I do not like working until 3 a.m. What's wrong? Boring movie. Ugh. Well, sorry. Maybe I'll come help the kids with their projects. Ah, uh, forget it. I'm gonna play with the dog. <laughs> They're boring. The dog's more fun. Look, we became friends. Oh, Tia finished her school project. Okay, we can sell that for money. There we go. Nice job, Tabby. You finished too. I've really not made like any effort <laughs> at all to have my sim succeed in school. Maybe I should try a little bit harder. <laughs> oh, I think she might get promoted today. She's doing pretty good. We still have three hours. Oh, here we go. Come on. Let me just make sure everybody else goes to bed. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please, please, please. Yes. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> Promotion to ringleader. We got a duffel of cash. We can pickpocket. We now make 17 smillions an hour. Oh, and we work until 4 a.m. You thought 3 a.m. was bad. Get ready for 4 a.m. But we do have one more day off a week. We used to only have one day off. Now we have Mondays off too. So maybe it's fine. Maybe that's a perk. <laughs> Should I put her duffel of cash in her room? It's only worth 100 155 simoleons, so there's no point in selling it. Might as well put it on display. Oh no. I kind of forgot that we had her risky woohoo. There's no way. It's only 10%. I've, I've only had a sim get pregnant from risky woohoo once in The Sims 4. Literally just one time. And it was, believe it or not, 1% risky woohoo. I didn't cheat that. <laughs> it wasn't like a did it on purpose and tried to play it off. My sim got pregnant off 1% risky woohoo. Completely by accident. Just typical, right? Like, <laughs> there wasn't a let's play too. It, it kind of messed up the whole the whole plans, um, but it happened. You want me to be a sitcom star? No, I'm not changing my career path. I am happy with what I'm doing. Oh, Alan said congrats about her new boyfriend. Okay, should we have her take a pregnancy test just to see? No, I don't want to anymore. Ah, uh, okay, good. <laughs> I take it back. No, I'm gonna take it back. Because if we take one, then she'll get sad. If we just don't take it, then it'll go away after 24 hours. So it's fine. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I miss something? I never took a pregnancy test. Did it? Was there a pop-up saying she got pregnant at some point that I just didn't see? I don't, I don't think so. No. Well then, what's that? Oh no. This is what I get for using mods. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I raised the risky woohoo chances on purpose because I thought it would be funny if she got pregnant, but I really didn't think she would actually get pregnant this time. Doesn't her boyfriend hate children? <sighs> Okay, so Terry is pregnant already. I feel like I just pranked myself. Like I've been sitting here being like, ha ah, it'd be funny if she got pregnant with risky woohoo. <laughs> now it looks like I faked it. <laughs> That's what it seems like in the video. I just, 
whatever. I'm actually kind of excited about this. I assume that her boyfriend would not be excited about this. Oh no. Speak of the devil. He's invited us to geek con. I'll go and then I'll tell him I'm pregnant. It'll be great. Oh no, I'm actually kind of excited. I have a couple baby name ideas that we've been thinking about, partially from the comments, partially from my own brain. I almost don't want to tell you them because I don't want to spoil it, but I do I do have a couple of ideas. She's so cute. Do you know what? The sub episode 50 with a surprise pregnancy. <laughs> Did I share the big news? That used to be my camera, by the way. Oh no, look at his face. <gasps> <laughs> I told you he was not gonna like it. Oh, no. Uh-oh. He hates it. He hates it. Oh, now he's being mean to me. Well, I- Uh-oh. Is he, like, yelling at her? I want to add him to my household so that I can see his emotion from this. Troubling news from hates children trait. Dismayed after learning that a baby is on the way. If a sim hates children, they're bound to be a little tense about a potential pregnancy. Okay. Oh, and there was a fire? <laughs> oh, you're having a rough time. Do you know what that's a- First woohoo, that is really unfortunate. I hate to say it, man, but if you hate pregnancy this much, to get someone pregnant on your first <laughs> ever time woohooing, very unlucky. Oh no. Should I let him be in my household? Should we have him move in with us? Would he want to move in with us? He doesn't want the kid. I almost feel like, at least right now, he probably wants no part in this. He might come around, like maybe he'll be there for the baby, I hope. <laughs> but I feel like as of right now, <laughs> he's probably not having the best day. Do you want to go play a game? Actually, Bessie, you might need to get a job. Oh, now he's fine again. Okay, the video games fixed it. He feels perfectly fine all of a sudden. <laughs> no longer tense, having a great time. Okay, I think I'm gonna put him in the athlete career. He has that bodybuilder aspiration, so it feels like it, it makes sense. Hates children, lactose intolerant, self-assured. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Terry. He- he'll be a good dad, I hope. Maybe he literally won't be a good dad. I don't know. I- I'm gonna sell these posters. We're gonna need the money, actually. We don't have much to work with here. Oh my god, do you want to ask the future cube? Oh. Okay. Do you know what? I'm literally gonna make gameplay decisions off what this thing says. I'm gonna- <laughs> I'm gonna have it play out this way. Future cube. Should Fabian stay with Terry? Ask question. Maybe yes. Maybe no. Definitely kind of. Possibly so. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> That's not helpful. <laughs> okay, ask about love life. Oh dear. I feel like that means that he's gonna be like half around. Your romantic future looks not so bright. Okay, um, I believe the answer here is pretty clear. I, I don't think that they were ever gonna make it uh, long term, but I really don't think they're gonna make it long term now. The future cube said so. Who are you talking to? Imagine he like cheats on her with this person in the costume. Should we do that? Ah, never mind. She's leaving. <laughs> What about this person in the costume? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's flirting with Monica. <laughs> I'm just gonna plant the seed. It's almost Cam's time. Oh, good God. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Too much is going on right now. I don't want Cam to die. Oh, no. Okay. Well, what is that? Are these like leftover from an old festival? That's a weird glitch. The flowers are all just floating. Oh, it's almost kind of pretty. Anyway, I was gonna say, uh, it appears that we have set ourselves up for a bit of a sticky situation here, but it'll work out. It'll be fine. Happy episode 50 and um, happy new house and I guess happy new baby as well. Oh no! New baby and a cheating boyfriend. This'll be fun. I think next week I want to try and steal some things. I mean, we have a baby to pay for, so <laughs> we should go do some theft. Crime is always the answer. And on that note, I think I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. <laughs> At least no one died today. I mean, certainly nothing good happened. The baby's exciting. I'm excited about the baby. But like, the rest of it, not it's not ideal timing is all, you know? <laughs>